This Friday marks International Women's Day, when women around the world will be mobilizing to re-articulate key demands of the feminist movement. These demands are, and have always been, rooted in material struggles, whether it's about the rejection of austerity measures like closing down domestic violence shelters, or dismantling a border regime that condemns refugee women from exercising their right to claim humanitarian asylum, or the decriminalization of sex work. Feminism has always been rooted in other radical movements, but over recent years we've seen cynical moves from corporations to co-opt the language of the feminist movement and sell us watered-down feminist merchandise, all the while paying workers poverty wages or even using prison labour. So naturally, as feminists we should take the opportunity to publicly bin neoliberal feminism, a strategy that sees the goals of feminism as individual empowerment within a marketplace rather than collective and international solidarity against systems of oppression. We need to scrutinise the supply chains that pay Bangladeshi women 35 pence an hour for £20 girl power shirts and threatened with murder after demanding higher wages. And we need to show solidarity with Brazilian women who refuse to remain neutral over the rise of fascism. Bolsonaro isn't a radical or a game changer or introducing free market perestroika. He's a threat to women in Latin America. And finally, we need political education and to learn the lessons of feminists that came before us, whose writings are rich resources for how to deconstruct our present. Like Audre Lorde said, the master's tools will never dismantle the master's house. Thank you.